I am an introvert and I am being put on the spot constantly this week. I am dead inside. <laughs> it's good John Ladner can laugh about doing something so outside his comfort zone. He prefers the small audience in his AP English classes at Denton's Geyer High School. So going on national TV was a lot. Right now, the plan from the Texas Education Agency is for all schools to offer face-to-face -face instruction for a full academic schedule. And that's, that's insane. But he did it to call for something he believes in. Ladner says he and other teachers disagree with the TEA's guidelines, released last week, saying districts must plan for on-campus teaching this fall. It's the most unsafe option possible. Ladner feels if students get to choose between in-person and online classes, teachers should too. But our teachers also need to have, who are high risk, also need to have an option that's going to help protect their safety. He says the TEA's guidelines don't give districts flexibility on that issue, among others. And the state may now be listening. Its initial guidance allowed virtual learning for just the first three weeks of school. But Governor Abbott said Tuesday the TEA may ease up. I think Mike Morath, the Commissioner for Education, uh, is expected uh, to announce a longer period of time for online learning at the beginning of the school year. This is going to have to be a local level decision, but there will be great latitude and flexibility provided at the local level. That is part of what Ladner wanted, but then what happens? I feel like we're, we're starting to be heard, but I also feel like these particular adjustments are still they're only delaying a bad idea. So he will keep using his voice until he finds a better idea for the health of his students and fellow teachers. In Denton, I'm Marisa Vedra. And the state's largest school district today, Houston ISD, announced some major changes. The district will not start school until after Labor Day. And when they do, the first six weeks will be fully online. If by October the 19th, the COVID-19 situation is better in Houston, then students have the option to return back to campus. So how likely are you to come in contact with someone who has COVID-19? This map created by Georgia Tech shows you the risk in your area and it does not look good for North Texas. For an event with 100 people in Tarrant County, the chance that at least one person is infected is 96%. Collin County, 82%. Denton County, 79%. And no surprise, based on the number of cases, Dallas County is the highest at 99%. Even at an event with just 10 people, there's a 41% chance someone has it.